Welcome guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna Grace. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna go ahead and review the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. Um, I'm extremely excited because this foundation claims to be mattifying, long-wearing, lightweight, medium to full foundation. So I'm ex extremely excited to try, to try it out because this is Anna's, the owner of Dosa Color. This is her first foundation launch. And I know for companies, foundation launches are huge. They're massive. They invested a lot of money into this product and making so many shades. She made 42 shades. So um, with further ado, let's go ahead and start this tutorial. But first, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, if you like what you see so far. And don't forget to send me a comment. Let me know if you like this video. I don't know, just leave me any ideas, any comments, any questions you have. I'll be happy to answer. You guys know I'm always on there the first hour that this video launches, paying attention to all the comments. So please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And let's go ahead and move on to this tutorial. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prep the skin with the Tatcha Silk Chemins. Looks like this. This is the mini one. I can't get myself to spend like $50 <laughs> on it. So I just use the mini until I run out, then I'll get another mini. But I'm just gonna prep my skin how I normally would. Anyways, I don't have anything else on my skin no hydrating products or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out all the areas that need to be smoothed out. All right, so those are colors meet your hue. Um, honestly, I love the campaign. I love everything about it. The packaging is like super pretty, very slick, very clean, very, I wanna say even luxurious looking. You know, like it gives me like Laura Mercier vibes. Um, so this foundation is available in 42 shades. It says to be lightweight, medium to full coverage foundation, delivers a blurring effect, which reduces the appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections. We'll see because as you guys can tell, I have a burn <laughs> on the side of my face, so that will determine that. Um, the color range, it goes from fair, light, light medium, medium tan, dark, and deep. Um, which I feel like it's it's a great way to like, you know, organize the shade range um, easier for you to find it. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty easy for me to just like okay, this is my shade. On the actual Dose website, it was super easy for me to identify what shade I was. We'll see if in fact I matched myself correctly or I went too light, went, went too dark. We shall see. This is how the packaging comes like, you guys. This is giving me like MAC vibes. Like it is so pretty. Take a look. Regarding the sponge, it's a seamless sponge and what it says is our sponge has a unique flat bottom teardrop shape which allows for smooth, even coverage and seamless application. What we're going to go ahead and do because I'm in the studio right now. We are going to open it up like so. All right, it's so cute. It has the dose of colors printed on the bottom of the actual blender. I love how it's just a flat bottom. And then I love how it pointed and tapered it is, especially for the under eye area. I'm here for it. Let's spray down this sponge. Very squishy, very soft. I love that. I love, um, I low key think I have like arthritis because my hands hurt a lot always and I like how like I can just squish it and I don't feel like it's hurting my hand um, so yeah it's like super squishy and you can do anything to it I love that okay cool yay all right so as you can see it comes with a pump it kind of like fell apart when I opened it because it's super secured in the box 
And this is what the foundation looks like. It looks like this. Meet your hue. Super cute. Go ahead and pump some foundation. Mind you guys, this is the pump. Love. Okay. So I'm going to squish it out. Okay. About three pumps and it starts coming out. It's giving me like a full pump of foundation. I do like to put on my foundation with a brush. So I'm going to use my MAC 159 brush and just put it on my skin. Whoa, this is like, guys, this is my exact color. And from the looks of it, I can already tell it's definitely full coverage. It's a thicker foundation. Yes. Okay, so far so good. Let me not get too excited because I'm the one over here with super dry skin. And my skin just does not want to cooperate with like just any foundation. So I have to be super picky about it. Okay, so I got two pumps. That's what I put in the pan. And it's all gone. So now we're just going to go ahead and grab the bottom of the sponge. And just spread it out. Over here doing this mirrorless. I have no mirrors near me. So let's see. Whoa. Um, you can still see the gray of my burn on my face, but let me bring some. Okay. Yeah, I love the tip of this sponge, how I can just get into my socket here on my eye and just like not even touch my lash like that's I love that so this sponge I am really digging right now it does feel better than the um, Morphe sponge because I feel like the Morphe sponge like you can hear myself like dapping into the skin which just doesn't feel like as rubbery just let me know you're the one probably hearing me dabbing I love that this is like my perfect match Guys, this is literally my perfect match. Take a look. It's not any wider, it's not any darker. Perfect undertone. Really digging that. Skin looks really freaking good. It actually looks like, like hydrated skin, which honestly, that's not what I thought I was gonna get, to be 100% honest. I have been taking care of my skin really good lately, so I don't know if that plays factors you know, keeping your skin hydrated at all times, using like, you know, decent products, washing your face every day. That plays such a big factor in how your foundation is going to perform and where. If you have a bunch of dry areas on your face, you're going to get patchiness. Like even when I was a freelance makeup artist, I would get clients like, oh my God, but I have all this patchiness. You have patchiness because you haven't exfoliated. You are not taking care of your skin. That just tells me right off the bat, you don't do anything. So um, I really, oh my God, I really like it, especially if you're a person that lives in like Florida or possibly like LA where it's like really hot, Arizona, places like that where it gets very humid, probably not Arizona, but places that get very humid and hot, um, it feels a little bit like self-setting. I don't know if I would want to put powder on top. Because if I do put powder on top, I feel like that's where it could potentially look cakey. Let me put some um, concealer. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape. Just where I need it, where I see like discoloration under my eye, I'm gonna put some right here on my nose of this sponge. I think this sponge is gonna be my new ride or die, to be honest. I'm not crazy about the color because it does remind me of the Real Technique sponge. And that sponge, I have a love and hate relationship just because it tears up so quickly. Um, I don't like it. Okay, so the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is working really good with this foundation. Throw on some Huda Beauty 
Tantor and I'm going to use the color light. I'm basically doing all the things that I would normally do. Okay, so let me get some Tantor on the actual. Okay, look at that. Whoa. Okay, these two work great together. Love it so far. Um, as we can see, the foundation didn't cover that area. I'm going to go ahead and use a liquid blush. And the blush that I'm using is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the color Nectar. So let's put that on my cheeks. I love how round this beauty blender is just because it just kind of like, look, it's perfect for the cheek. It's perfect for the contour. It's perfect for the forehead. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of warmth on my eyes and I'm gonna be using a MAC 224 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Chudoro and mix it with chains. And I'm just gonna throw that like just on the crease. Give it some like color to the actual lid, you know? Boom. Like that, nothing crazy. There we have it, something super simple, easy. Let me go ahead and now blend out this foundation. And I get, it did cover up much better now that I actually, actually let it sit there and um, let it like sit on the actual burn. Um, I do want to point out that it does not look cakey on the burn because sometimes like, you know, when, when we burn ourselves, you have scabbing and you have like all that happening. And honestly, that's not happening. This foundation is feeling like my skin and I actually like it. Everybody's skin is different. Um, everybody treats their skin differently. That's something good to point out. So it's not gonna be, you know, the same for everybody. So I'm gonna put a little bit of jeans under my under eye. I haven't set the foundation yet. I'm just kind of like letting the foundation sit and set on its own. So then I can determine what powder to use. Um, does it even look good without setting it? You know what I mean? Like, is it even necessary? So all those things play a factor on the foundation. Great. So this is the MAC Extended Play. I love this for my lower lashes. It's amazing. I with you guys, I could leave this foundation just by itself and I think I'll do great um, because I can tell that I might be borderline caking it if I put too much powder or a heavy powder or a very drying powder to my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Hourglass Veil powder. I'm gonna put that lightly onto my skin. I'm not even gonna go like crazy on powder. I think that's like a lot, you know, the mistake where a lot of people, that a lot of people do and go wrong. So I put some on the actual um, sponge and I'm taking it out on my hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the skin like so. And I'm just gonna lightly tab over the blush, just completely fine. We're just gonna set that blush in place. Okay, with this particular powder, I'm not seeing any issues. This powder is really good for those people with dry skin. I'm gonna set my under eye with the NYX Blouting uh, Powder. This is not sold in stores. You have to buy it on Amazon. Um, it was recommended by Leslie Love. I follow her on Instagram. Um, she recommended this. I like it so far. I'm not gonna lie. I do like my Essence one better. I feel like it gives me more of that brightening situation. But I do love how this one kind of mattifies my skin. Like, like really well so so far i always have extreme problems in my under eyes and you know possibly looking cakey especially when we bring our foundation all the way to our upper cheek area right here i'm gonna bring this powder under my nose well wow 
Okay, now we're mattified. We went from like glowy luminous to a mattified queen. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of highlight with, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with Mirame. And then I'm gonna go in with the Mirame highlight. Just dab it on to my skin. I'm not gonna like go like this. I'm gonna dab it on so I don't disrupt anything further. It looks really pretty. I would have known. I haven't used this highlight in like forever, to be honest. We're gonna go ahead and do some lips because I'm still feeling a little bit colorless. And I'm gonna go in with Dose of Colors Nitty Gritty Lip Liner. Oh gosh. This lip liner is everything. Look at that. Anna, <laughs> if you ever see me um, or watch this video, can you please make a chocolate shade and add it to your lip liner collection, please and thank you? Because I honestly thought this was gonna be a chocolate shade and it's more like a dusty rose shade. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad at it, but I didn't see like a chocolate color. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my KKW Classic K, not classic, oh yeah, it's Classic K. <laughs> classic lip, and I dab it because you don't have to be harsh with your lip liner, I mean, your lipstick. You just dab it, Transfer the color up to your upper lip and boom, there you go. You don't have nothing else to do. But so far, look, guys, I'm loving this look. So I would say it's a natural matte foundation regarding the longevity of it. I'm not sure. I'm going to test it out. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But so far, it's the right shade, is the right undertone. I really like how it looks without even me setting it. So I can honestly probably get away without having to set the foundation at all, which that makes me really happy, um, especially speaking or coming from a person that has very dry skin that works in an office for eight hours in a day and my moisture gets sucked out all the time. So, so yeah, um, I'll come back later on today and I may do check-ins. I'm not sure yet if I have the time to do that, but if I do, I will pop in and let you guys know how this foundation is rocking. Um, but so far, so good. As you can see, I'm like extremely happy with it. And I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. Um, so you guys can take a look, I mean, there is, you can see texture. That's what happens with every, you know, like matte foundation. You can see all the texture in the world, um, but that is a normal thing. So uh, once again, so far so good. If there is any downsides, I will let you guys know. Guys, so I'm checking back in. It's about 12 o'clock p.m and i finished this makeup tutorial 11 a.m so it's been about a little bit over an hour of me uh wearing this foundation okay so so far so good usually my problem my problem areas are right in my mouth right here I don't know if you guys can see my mouth. Okay, so the one thing that I can say about it is that obviously everybody has that little problem when the foundation goes in here, it looks a little crusty. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys have that problem. I sure do. But it, it did not cover my burn that I have on the side of my face. Um, we talked about that earlier. Um, it's just not gonna do that. This foundation is definitely medium to high coverage, but I could only see myself doing like medium coverage. I don't think I could like pack on any more product um, other than, you know, the medium coverage that I got. So I'm happy with that. I wouldn't go any more 
because if you do go in with a lot it's definitely gonna look cakey maybe it was my error and i didn't like emphasize the foundation inside my nose let me see the other one. Oh, whoa whoo yeah hey guys so it's been about four and a half hours i'm checking in on my makeup let's zoom right in whoa hella pores um it doesn't look bad at all i actually i'm really digging this foundation um i am starting to see like the little creasing but guys creasing those are like my wrinkles <laughs> there's nothing i can do about it um my pores are a little emphasized but i'm kind of shocked because i did use that tatcha primer um so yeah let me I have a, a window in my bathroom, so I'm going to peek through here so you guys can like see the true light. So this is what it looks like in, um, in like light. This is like the light from my bathroom. And yeah, I mean like so far, so far so good. This is me being like super close, like way too close. I usually have problems in this area and it's not that bad maybe I should have not put highlight here because of my pores um, so always take take note um, I need to stop putting like highlight right there yeah um, <laughs> I like it so far it's been four and a half hours and I'm really digging it I'm over here editing some videos for you guys for the gram. If you don't follow, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please make sure to follow me at Anna Grace underscore underscore. That is two underscores. Um, but yeah, I'll see how much longer I can keep this on um, because I do have to do a couple other tutorials. Um, so I'll try to keep it on as long as possible and then check back once again. Four and a half hours in. Makeup still looks really good. It hasn't even moved. Um, nothing has moved. Everything looks really pretty. Um, it is a matte foundation. You're going to see texture. That is completely normal. Um, P.S. I have not put anything on my skin. Um, no touch-ups, no nothing. As you can see, like I said, my lipstick is like almost gone. But yeah. Woo! Go meet your Hue Foundation. I'm so excited. I'm happy that I'm loving it. The number you have dialed has been changed.